Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rambo. We're going to do another Willet Stick, and this time we have a big old uh, personnel carrier. A uh, PC, armored personnel carrier, something like that. We're going to see if it'll go across. We're going to make it across, and it's going to be a short video, one at a time. If I have to do like 10,000 videos, it seems like about the views I've been getting, I'm going to have to do about five videos a day. Five videos on this to average a thousand views, and I need a thousand views to pay for my internet. Yeah, I know it sounds stupid, isn't it? But that's just how it is. That's basically what I do YouTube for, is pay for my internet. <laughs> I don't know. It keeps me, keeps me from being bored. Here we go. Enough with that. Let's see how this is going to work. Cameras are screwed up. This thing is pretty heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh, it in instantly sunk. Dang. Well, that wasn't fast enough. You know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to explore this just a little bit. We're going to take it up the slope. Will it? How will it do up the slope? Okay, because that was just not fast enough for me. Because this thing is just real heavy. I could see it probably doing something like that in a swamp area. Because it's really swampy, you know. And this thing is heavy. Fully geared, armored, cannon, all kinds of cool stuff. I was going to do this the first time. But I decided I want to do bigger trucks. And then I was like, you know what? This thing would be pretty cool to do. Let's see, it's a four speed. Oh, whoops, I just hit it in the wrong. Let's take it across some water now. The camera is kind of bad. Like, it's as far as you can zoom out with it. Oh, here we go. Dude, I just got damage from all that. Oh my gosh. Is it going to. Oh, got to put it in different gear. It's a pretty cool thing. But I don't think it's going to be good for off road. Like, too much swampy stuff. Like,. You would think it would be though for being eight-wheel drive. I don't like it the way it's you can't lock the four-wheel drive in. But it doesn't matter though. I'm glad they did it that way instead of the differential lock. Because differential lock, that means you can't really turn very good. Like right now we're just doing this. Now if you do this, see how much better it actually turns? You can actually do almost a complete donut. Yeah, that's what that does. It basically it locks the axles together where the, both tires will turn. So derby car, uh, derby drivers, they do that with their cars. They'll take and go in the back axle and weld the splines or something together in there. They do something in there and it makes the whole, makes them push. It basically pushes them. And that's that. So anyway, I'm done with this. Thanks for watching. Take care. Go check out my vlog thing of the farming simulator real lifeness. I don't know what you want to call it, but anyway, that's going to be it. Catch me in the next one.